Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all. On behalf of the Council of Imams, on behalf of faith leaders of the Muslim community, share with you this message that black lives matter. One of the most righteous companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went into an argument with Bilal. May Allah be pleased with Bilal, one of the most righteous, one of the most strongest black Muslim activists who stood up for the truth. That word, I can't breathe. We heard it in our Islamic literature. He is the first to be choked and to say these words because of his skin, because of his faith, because of his background. We reject oppression in all forms. I want to thank all the speakers behind me and before me and after me. I want to say thank Reverend Bailey, People for Justice for Abdurrahman Abdi, all the organizers, and I want to reiterate this message. As a non-black person, this I know it gets uncomfortable first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had the story of a righteous companion to the Prophet have an argument with Bilal. And then in the middle of the argument, he uttered the word. He said, you're the son of a black woman. He regretted it immediately. He apologized. He went down to kiss his feet. But Bilal refused and he went back to the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. And he told him, he called me with my mother's skin. And the Prophet Muhammad brought Abu Dhar, one of the most righteous people. The point is, it doesn't matter if you didn't have the intention to be racist. It does not matter if you did not mean to be racist. He said, You are a man who's still at clinging to ignorance. In the farewell speech, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, O oh mankind, your father is one, your God is one. No white man is better than a black man. No black man is better than a white man. No Arab is better than non-Arab. No non-Arab is better than the Arab. The most noble are the most righteous the most noble in the sight of god are those who are the most righteous this is a message we have to talk about it we don't we don't just think about it we have to tell others sometimes standing up for this truth hurts but we have to stand up for it on behalf of our own Muslim communities, and I say, until today, racism exists, and we have to fight it. When it comes to times like these, we don't stop at the family of Floyd. We don't stop at a single incident. We're not going to stop. There, every day there is another Floyd. Whether they're black, aboriginal, 
Muslim, Jewish, whatever it is, we must stand together against all oppression. One of the final verses that were revealed in the Quran and the farewell statement of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the last year, I will say it and I would appreciate if you hold your applause. <laughs> we have created you from a single male and a single female. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِنَ لِتَعَارَفُوا And we have diversified you into nations and people so that you may know one another. إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ The most pious in the sight of God, the most noble in the sight of God, is the most righteous amongst you. Indeed, God is, a, is all hearing and all seeing. Thank you very much.